Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to make speed lines in Unity. They're the effect you often see in anime and even games like Smash Bros. I don't see many games using them, but they're basically the screen shake of particles, and I think you can put them in just as many situations. Okay, let's start. I've already imported a spike picture here. It's really just a very long triangle. You can make this in the picture editing program of your choice. Anyway, so what we're going to do is right click, go to effects and create a particle effect. Let's reset the rotation so that they're sprawling outward. And in the renderer, we need to create a material for a spike. So let's just create a material. Uh, make it the unlit transparent material. And then we can just drag our spike picture here. And then just change the material to sprites default. Anyway, then we go down here to our renderer and put our material here. Make sure to change the render mode from billboard to stretched billboard. And now we can set the length of our particles here. Now you'll need to make them comically long if you want them to fit on all screens or if you also want to move the particle to the position where it's happening. For now, I'll just put in a value of 11. Anyway, let's also fix some stuff by the shape here. Instead of using a cone, we can just use a circle. The radius will need to be about as long as the shape itself, maybe a bit bigger. Also make sure to change the radius thickness here to zero. Let's up the emission account from 10 per second to something like 125 and also increase the start speed, something like 15. We can also see that there's a bunch of particles that are flying out. We don't need all this starting lifetime. We can put it to something like 0.2 seconds and let's just for the sake of it, turn the duration down to one. That way, if we turn off looping, we can also just happen as a one-shot particle effect. But I'm going to keep it on for testing purposes now. Anyway, so now we have our speed lines here. Let's change the start color a bit, or at least make it vary between two random colors. So we'll make those white and gray. Finally, we'll add a bit of a color over lifetime gradient. Just go into here. We'll make it start out with the color blue or something. And just like that, that looks good. Now you can see it starts out blue and it goes out to white. We could even have it uh, go out to alpha zero and then they also kind of fade out if that's more what you'd like. But the choice is yours. Here we have some very nice speed lines. You can spawn them wherever. You, can, you don't have to loop them. You can just play them for a second when you spawn them and have them be destroyed or you can keep them on for as long as you want and maybe you can put it onto a certain focus. If something's happening in the middle of the screen, you put it there. If something's happening near the edge, you can put it over there. Play around with it, change the size of the speed lines and the circle where it spawns. Have fun with it and be sure to put it into your games because as you can see, it's very simple to add in. Well, enjoy it, you guys.